I said, no, 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 it's not me, it's Dr. Nagin Pao, not me. Because he's also a doctor, I'm also a doctor, Pao Pao, something like that. So he thought that I'm going to pass away. Anyway, there's a saying in our, there's a saying in our language. If this kind of rumors spread, that means you will live long. <laughs> so, for a few moments, I will turn people thought that I died already. <laughs> but anyway, that's a great news. Hallelujah. Because this is the opposite. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, this tells us the power of God, my friend. <laughs> Amen. It's not my power. It's not your power. Some people are wondering, why this atheist people are still not groups? Because many churches, many churches, many schools are in collapse. But we survive year after year. We're able to come together and worship God. Yes, it is indeed we cannot have a worship a corporate service at the moment. But at least we have as a student, as a Bible student, we can come together here. Because when I say Bible student, that includes every one of us here. That includes me as well. Because we remain a student for the rest of our life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of God. Amen. So even the apostles consider themselves that they are students. Of, and their master is the Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore Jesus told us, a student is not above his teacher. The teacher is the Lord Jesus Christ. We are his students. But blessed are the one who humbles. I, and I am really touched because uh, when I see that people are humbled, because whenever we humble before God, you're not giving glory to anybody. You're giving glory directly to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Then the Bible tells us again, again, humble yourself in the eyes of God. Now, we would like to first define what does it mean by humbleness or humility. Humility is not something that merely having a, a very low voice or just imitating someone or acting as if we are humble. Humble means that in all our ways we are acknowledging the Almighty God. We are relying on Him and we are willing to keep God's commandment. That the commandments of God is above everything. Hallelujah. And today, I know that even Sunday people are sleeping. They don't care anything about a service. Well, the corporate service is not possible. But as, and as a family service, we can have it. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is what we're doing over here. It's a family service. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Whether we are two or three or four, it doesn't matter. Because Jesus said, if one or two are gathered in my name, I shall be in your means. But our worship service cannot stop. Hallelujah. The global pandemic cannot stop. Our praise to God, our pray to God, and our relationship with God cannot be stopped by, by none of this pandemic in the past, from the time of the Old Testament, but even now, nothing can stop us from the love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must go on, worshiping our God and praying for our nation. And I'm very proud to say that yesterday our prayer is immensely so powerful that God will definitely answer our prayer. And you can see, you can believe it in Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer that we prayed for this country, that last night, the prayer that we prayed for our country and for this global outbreak of pandemic, God is going to answer your prayer and my prayer. Our humble prayer to God, our heartfelt cry to God, will be answered. Hallelujah. And very soon you will come across and see the news <coughs> that it is not increasing, but you will see that it will be decreasing. Amen. Hallelujah. Very soon or later, this outbreaks of pandemic in this country will no longer increase, but it will decrease in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, yesterday, we already prayed to God, humble before God, 
We were on our knee and we cried out to God and said, Lord, heal our nation, heal this country. And your prayer will be answered. Let's go to the Psalm 46 because I want to talk from here, Psalm 46. I will not embrace my brothers and sisters this evening from the Psalm 46. The psalmist says, This is Psalm upon Adamot, the chief magician for the sons of Korah. And says of Yeri himself, verse 1, verse 11, God is a refuse and strength, and a very present help in trouble. When no one can help you, then God can help you and deliver you. Amen. God is God after all. He is the creator of the visible, invisible, strong, and dominant. He is the creator of all things. And our God is able to do everything for us. So here the psalmist ignores and say, Our God is a refuse and strength and a very present help in trouble. As you all know, the current illustration in this country and all over the world, everywhere, there is outbreaks of this pandemic and thousands and thousands and thousands of people are dying every single day, every single minute. People are crying and wailing. So life has become more unpredictable. When I saw one video clips where an ambulance 20, 30 people were all together. And after that, they were just thrown to somewhere. What a crematorium. And where I also saw one video clips where the organs of the dead bodies are being taken out. I was really sore. And I was absolutely speechless, and it breaks my heart. Sometimes the walls that we are living, the people have forgotten that we, the people, are the image of God. Hallelujah. Whether one believes in God or not, that's a different thing. Every human being is created in the image of God. We are not the animals. But nowadays, in some place, people are being treated more more than animals. Animals are giving some kind of a regards. Because that is a tax, the animal they particular tax with their religious sentiment. So they highly value the animals. But human beings who are created in the image of God are being treated below the category of an animal. You can see the taking organs out and throwing in a dustbin, all this. For example, that you can only see when you go to the meat store. When you go for buying the chickens, the live chicken, if you want to buy a one kilo of uh, chicken. At that time, uh, that's what you see. Those things happen only with the chickens. But nowadays it started happening somewhere secretly. The black marketing is the way long. So the way that people are being treated, it's sometimes we've been treated below the category of an animal. But we would like to understand one thing. That every one of us here, and every people, every human being, is the image of God. Hallelujah. So the Bible said, so God created man in his own image. Hallelujah. So we are here, we are to give glory to God and praise him because we are the image of God. We are the children of God. So therefore understand God, the one who created us in his own image, 
is our refuge. Amen. He is your refuge, he is our refuge, and a strength and a very present help in trouble. God will deliver us to you from troubles. And we know that according to 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, that great is the mystery of the godliness that God was manifested in the flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. So who is God of the Old Testament? The God of the Old Testament is no other but Jesus Christ who was manifested in the flesh and dwelt among us. Two thousand years ago, he dwelt in the flesh as a man. He dwelt among the people of Israel. What about today? He still dwells among us. He's within us. Hallelujah. Because our God is the man of God. Because in Matthew chapter 1, verse 9, you say, His name is something called Emmanuel, which means God with us. Hallelujah. And over again and again, Jesus Christ assures us in Matthew 28, verse 20, Lo, I am with you always, so don't be scared, don't be panicked. I will be with you, and I will help you, I will deliver you, I will walk with you, I will dwell in you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of God. Amen. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So suddenly in the, in the rooms, suddenly due to some uh, technical errors, if the lights goes off, we are not supposed to get dying and run around because if you do that, you will get hurt. And you may even die also. So this is not a time to get panic, this is a time to pray, this is a time to acknowledge the sovereign God who is in control of everything. This is a time to worship Him. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. So in the, in the rooms that suddenly dark, you have to find where the street. Scroll on your knee and just do like this and when you find the, the board, switch it on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And the light will come. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. That is exactly what we need to do. We need to call upon the name of the Lord. They were the Solomon say. In the Proverbs chapter 10, verse 18, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous are struggling to eat and they are saved. Now this is the time not to get ready, but it's a time to call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's turn the Bible to the Proverbs chapter 18. But many people, we fail to do that. Many people, we still rely on our own strength. Proverbs 18, verse 10. Okay. 10 and 11. The name of the Lord is the strong tower. The righteous run it into eat, and he saved. The rich man's well is his strong city, and the high wall in his own is conceit. Before destruction, the heart of man is healthy, and before honor is humility. Hallelujah! A man who prays, a man who humbles himself before God, a man who calls upon the name of the Lord, I am nothing. I need you, Lord. Help me, guide me, deliver me. Is a man who is humble, a man who is full of wisdom, a man who is full of wisdom. Hallelujah. Because he had burdened and he has escaped the commandments of God. <coughs> because this is the will of God that we humble ourselves before God and call upon his name and pray in his name and worship him and declare his name to the nations to the hidden that there is one God and his name is Jesus. Hallelujah. And for one Solomon said we hear you can see one more time 
Before destruction, the heart of man is healthy, and before honor is humility. Before honor is humility. Before honor is humility. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. How do you want to be honored? You want to be blessed by God? Then learn to humble. Amen. As a Bible student, it is a very important that we learn these secrets. Hallelujah. Amen. The secrets of God's will, you need to learn it. Now don't just follow this is the principles. You know, come Don't say this is the order from our principles or order from our professor or our mother. But do it unto God. Hallelujah. Amen. Falling from your heart. Every single rule that we have set over here is in accordance with the living word of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Falling from your heart and humble before God. Praise the Lord. Because when you humble before God, what the Bible say? Before honor is humility. Amen. You want to be honored, you want to be blessed. All you need is humility now. Call upon the name of the Lord. Humble yourself. Cry out to God. Hallelujah. Acknowledge Him. Call upon His name. And God will deliver you. Amen. So the other psalmist says what? God is a refuse and strength. That we acknowledge in God in every single day of our life. Rely not on our strength, but rely on the name of God. And also keeping God's commandment. That our heart desire is nothing but to keep God's commandment to do the will of God. When your heart is filled to do nothing but to do the will of God, what is the will of God? How can I keep God's commandment? When your heart is filled with that, nothing can stop you. Amen. Hallelujah. You will be the unstoppable in the servant of God. Who will always go from victory to victory. And you will be the blessing to the nations. <clears throat> Therefore here. The Solomon said very wisely. That. Hallelujah. Amen. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. So what is the name of the Lord? Many people will fail to understand what is the name of the Lord my right dear. The name of the Lord is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The name of the Lord is not the name of the Lord. Therefore, Apostle Paul cried out in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9, 10, and 11, and said, Every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess. Those that are in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, that every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess. That Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. So here, blessed is the one that call upon the name of the Lord. The right is running to eat and be saved. So, how are we going to run it? That means the word here run it means that the people with knowledge, who exercise, who invoke the name of God. While well, orally invoking the name of Jesus Christ, doing all things in water and deed in the name of Jesus. So we bless every one of you right here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive the healing. Amen. Be it any cough or be it any kinds of uh, fever, be it any kinds of sickness, be it any kinds of problem, receive in Jesus' name the healing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So when we call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord answers our prayer all the time. But God can answer the prayer of those who are haughty, those who are arrogant, and who does not want to keep God's command, who does not want to humble themselves before God. Hallelujah. Amen. So understand that the Bible therefore tells us in Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Apostle Paul says that whatever you do, whatever you do, Amen. If you want to be saved, 
If you want to be delivered from this pandemic, or even if you want to have a blessed, a glorious life, then keep God's commandment. Do it exactly as the Word of God says over here. Because that is exactly what the Apostle Paul says in Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. Whatever you do, many times we undermine it. We read it many thousand times, but we seem to not understood what it means. The Bible clearly says, whatsoever you do, in war we need you all, praise the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, and giving glory to the Father through Him, hallelujah. Amen. Whatsoever you do, in war we need you all, in the name of Jesus Christ, because Jesus is the name of God. Because Jesus is the name of the Father. Because Jesus is the name of the Son. Because Jesus is the name of the Holy Ghost. Because Jesus is the name of our whole name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And when we call upon the name of the Lord, my brothers and my friends, understand? The Satan will flee away from you. The sickness cannot touch you. Hallelujah. The sin will flee away from you. And you will remain victorious. Hallelujah. And you will not recover and overcome it. Call upon the name of the Lord. None of us are perfect human beings here on this universe. As a human being, we all have weaknesses. We all have our soul. But blessed is the one who humble. That the reason why the psalmist says, before honor is humility. Learn to humble yourself before God. And who are the humble people? Who keep God's commandment. Who's willing to do all things, whatever it is in the scripture. Whose heart desire is nothing but to keep God's commandment at any cost. Hallelujah. And every man from the 16 verse 16 said, He that believes and is baptized shall be saved. The humble people are willing to be immersed in Jesus' name. They are willing to be, or they are willing to, hallelujah, and receive the forgiveness of their sins. And the Bible tells us, filled with the Holy Ghost, they cry out to God and seeking for the Holy Ghost baptism. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Those are the blessed people. Because the humble people are the people that who are at any cost, who undermine the holy thing, who undermine their comfort zones, whose heart's desire. The only heart desire is to fill with the Holy Spirit. Whose heart desire is to keep God's commandment. To walk in the light. In walk in the will of God. To walk in God's direction. And understand, when you struggle to do that, maybe you are weak, but God will give you His helper. Amen? The helper is the Father in Himself. Hallelujah. They were in John chapter 16, 14, verse 16. Jesus said that I'll pray to the Father that He will give you another helper, a comforter, that He may abide with you forever. As a man, Jesus was saying that. But according to Matthew 28, verse 20, we can see very clearly that the Holy Ghost, the helper, is not other than. But Jesus Christ himself. So when we pray in Jesus' name, when we call upon his name, hallelujah, God is present all the time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There is Jesus, if one or two are gathered in my name, the dots be one or two are gathered. Simply. I didn't want to 
Noisa point formula, sing cut point formula, lal bombing a bell low, it's one bell high low. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. It may be thousands, billions of people may gather, but if it is not in the name of Jesus, it's not present. He will not manifest his power. He will manifest his glory. But when we gather together, we may be just two or three in numbers. We may be very small in numbers. But when we do all things in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, when we invoke the name of Jesus Christ, when we cry out to God in Jesus' name, when we pray in Jesus' name, He's always with us and He delivers us. Hallelujah. Save us and deliver you from these calamities, deliver you from these foibles, these sicknesses and diseases, and deliver you from all this kind of plague that is now being poured out, that is being uh, infected. Billions and thousands of people are infected. God will still save you, protect you, you and your household. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now is the time to exercise the wisdom. It's not a time to be a fool. It's not a time to be unwise. Therefore, the Bible tells us again and again. Be not be unwise, but be wise, understanding the will of the Lord. But who are the wise people? The wise people are the one who build his house upon the rock. Amen. The unwise are the people who build his house on the saints. And every one of us we know, according to 1 Corinthians 7, 10, verse 4, the rock is not talking about a physical rock, but that rock, it was Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Amen. Can we say a bit louder? Can we give Amen? You want to say Amen only when you are in the hospital? <laughs> it's time to say Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. We don't need hospital. We bow by hospital already. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah! So let's say a little bit louder. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. 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 Let's stand together. Thank you so much. Can we sing the song Fast A Not? Someone tell me the song number. Uh, song number 71, page 27. Let's sing the song together. <coughs> since morning, since we had the whole night prayer meeting, my voice is not really already practicing. I'm already in a low energy, but still that. I'm doing my best to sing as much as I can. So let's attempt to sing a bit loud for the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah.
I just saw from them. I just saw from what we did lose. My dear brothers, what I want to give you the message is that your money cannot save your life. The top medical scientist expert cannot save your life. After all, they are human beings. Our top leaders cannot save your life because they too are human beings. We, the human beings, cannot save one another. Only God can save us. Your dollars, your money, your full, full bags of money cannot save you. Therefore, thousands and thousands of these people die today in this city. Even the poor are dying. But still, even the rich and rich people are dying. Because the money cannot save your life. Only Jesus can save you. Now the time to come. Now the time to repent of your sins. Now the time to repent and keep God's command. Only a humble person is willing to keep God's command. Never Peter said, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let's not undermine the message of Peter. Because unto Peter, Jesus said, On oh, this rock, Peter, I will build my church. I will give you the keys of the heavens. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever you shall bow, the not shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall lose, the not shall be lose in heaven. So the people who are still undermining the message of Apostle Peter, the message of the apostles, are not undermining apostles, but undermining their record to Jesus Christ. So my beloved brothers and sisters, obey the commandments of God. Call upon His name and be saved today, tomorrow, and forever. Let's go to God and pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the message you have delivered unto us. Thank you for the love that you have given unto us, Lord. Though we are undeserving in every day of our lives, that you have made a deserving Father's all because of your grace, Father. Thank you for the blessing that you have bestowed upon our lives. We pray once again for this our country. We pray for this country and the countries around the world. We pray for this our world that we are living. That you please save us, Lord. Hallelujah. We also pray for the city where we are living. For the capital city of India. For the Delhi and Asia. For this beloved city, this beautiful city. That you save us, Lord. Save in Jesus' name. Save us, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Save it in everyone. And save your children, Lord. Save your servants and their families and their children and their children, Father. Because we want to worship you. We want to glorify your name. We want to magnify your name, Lord. Because you alone are saved. We have not. We have not here it. And we have not given of heaven. You alone are our Savior. And we come to you in Jesus' name. The love of our God, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the communion of the Holy Spirit with the Spirit of Jesus. And all is abide with us. And with all the saints of God around the world forever and ever in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay guys thank you so much. Thank you for that God bless you. All right.